Cutoff points. Understanding this handy phrase in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we make English learning fun and easy. Today, we're diving into a common yet intriguing phrase in English, cutoff. Stick around to understand not just its meaning, but also how you can use it in your daily conversations. Cutoff is a versatile phrase used in various contexts. Primarily, it means to stop or end something abruptly. But the beauty of English is in its nuances. This phrase can be used literally, like cutting off a piece of paper, or figuratively, like ending a discussion. Here's where things get interesting. In everyday language, cutoff is often used in scenarios like 1. Time limits. The cutoff time for applications is 5 p.m. tomorrow. 2. Disconnections. I was cut off during the phone call. 3. Physical barriers. The road was cut off by the flood. These examples show how the phrase adapts based on context. In more formal settings, cut off still holds its ground. For instance, 1. Deadlines. The cutoff date for submitting the report is next Monday. 2. Criteria limit. The cutoff mark for this exam is 60%. These uses highlight the phrase's role in setting boundaries or limits in professional environments. English is rich with phrasal verbs and idioms, and cutoff makes its appearance here too. Consider these expressions. 1. Cut someone off interrupting someone while they're speaking. 2. Cut off from the world, isolated or disconnected from others. These expressions further illustrate the versatility of the phrase. All right, folks, that's a wrap on cut off. We've seen how this simple phrase can be applied in various contexts, making your English more fluent and expressive. Remember, Language learning is all about practice, so try using cut off in your conversations today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Keep learning and see you in the next video.